Well, hey there, friends, and welcome back to the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Batten. I'm super duper happy that you're here today. I love being in your earbuds. Thank you for listening. I'm so grateful to have you. Before we jump into the podcast today, I did just want to make a statement. (laughs) That sounds pretty formal. Sorry, we're not very formal around here as a rule, but I just wanted to let you know, if you are listening to this podcast, if you are a retailer out there and you are running your shop and you are always trying to move your business towards better, you're trying to be maybe a better leader or if you're trying to be better at marketing or feel better about these things, that's what we do. That's what we do inside my coaching programs and we have lots of ways to help people. This is not a pitch, however, it is a pitch. (laughs) This is me telling you that there is support out there to see a different side of business, to see outside of the fishbowl, if you will. Sometimes when we're in our own world, we have a tendency to just see things as we see things, or maybe as our family see things and our friends, and that's not necessarily always the best view sometimes we really it's great to get an outsider's point of view so we have different programs i have my group program called retailers inner circle i do private coaching with people if you just want to meet once we can do that too i have a six-week sales and marketing program that is kick butt that people love (laughs) if you want to just put a feel good marketing strategy together and you just want to do it with cool people because it's always cool people that end up joining us and just real retailers helping other real retailers. We're not fancy around here. So I just want to mention that. I know if you're new here, this sounds like I'm pitching and I guess I am pitching. You know, I am pitching for you. I'm, 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 I'm such a believer in the independent retailer. I'm such a believer in local being an important part of our economic and social part of our economy. And I believe in you and I believe in all the retailers that I work with. So that is all from my heart today. And I just want you to reach out. We have lots of different ways that we work with people or I work with people and in our group pro- programs as well too. So you can check all that out at wendybatten.com. And on the menu, it says work with me and you can check that out, jump in or send me a DM, send me a DM and just say, Hey, I need some help. Is this the kind of thing you do? or if you just want to move towards better, and there's lots of different ways to do that. So I just want you to know that I'm seeing so many cool things happen with so many cool retailers right now, and it's just fun. You don't, like, it's just fun to see people succeed. It's fun for me to see people succeed. It's fun for them to succeed, and success comes in so many different packages. Success comes from more time freedom. Success comes, or could mean to you, like way more profit freedom uh, success comes from having way more fun in your shop if you know if you're starting to feel heavy and hard or if you're just wondering what else is possible or maybe you're future planning maybe you're getting ready to make an exit strategy we do a lot of that as well too and just i just want you to let you know that we're there so on that note thank you for listening to my ted talk no so we'll jump into today's podcast and today's podcast is something some of you are going to think you don't need and I want you to listen to it anyway. <laughs> I want you to listen to it because we're going to talk about uh, souvenirs and why I think this uh, type of product, like whether you're in a tourist destination or not, is something that I think all types of shop owners can benefit from. And I live in a tourist town, but I travel a lot and I see what's possible and I see what's what some of my retailers are doing who you wouldn't traditionally think are souvenir sellers and if you're thinking souvenir sellers or souvenirs as the tacky stuff (laughs) sorry if you sell the tacky stuff I know there's a market for that too but if you are in a market where you think I don't know do you know do I need souvenirs I don't know what does she mean by souvenirs listen up I'm going to explain what I mean by that in this episode Running a retail business doesn't have to be so hard. Welcome to the Creative Shop Talk podcast, the go-to podcast for creative shop owners, studio owners, and independent retailers. I'm your host, Wendy Batten, retail business coach and mentor. 
Each week, I'll share simple, proven business strategies, inspiring stories from fellow retailers, and advice from industry experts. Together, we're going to work to find the success you want from your retail business with more profits in your till and a little more joy in your life. Okay, so when we talk about souvenirs, I feel like it's an opportunity or a missed opportunity for so many retailers because a lot of people think that, I don't know, even if you're not in a tourist town, there's always people in your town, not from your town. (laughs) There's always visitors, whether you think there is or not, who might be in your town, even if you're not a high visibility tourist town. But if you are a high visibility tourist town, you're also thinking, now those other shops over there all got that taken care of. <laughs> I do not need to be part of that scene, but maybe you do. So there are so many different ways to sell beautiful, original, non-tacky, you know what I mean? Touristy things or souvenirs that people would love. Like, why not, why not, why not let that be you? Why not you do that in your town? So Two different types of people buy local, let's just say local merchandise. So local merchandise, things that have, you know, your town name, your area name, your zip code on it. Y'all know the zip codes are really popular as well, too. A lot of that is sold locally. It's to people who maybe moved there, people who are proud of where they come from. It's not necessarily the tourist that buy it or the visitor. It's local people buying it for other local people or buying it for because they're really proud of where they live or their area, especially if they've just moved there. This is a really big thing. We have a lot of movement and, you know, people are moving around the country all the time. So let's think about that. The other thing is the tourist might come into your town. So I am a tourist. I'm coming into your town and I'm literally thinking of like all of the towns I've been traveling to and I love your shop. And, you know, thank goodness it's not a tacky touristy shop. And again, if that's what you sell, that's like, I'm not making difference to that. I'm talking about the difference of the different types of shops. But if I walk into your shop and you're not a traditional tourist souvenir shop, but I love your shop is so beautiful and you have these beautiful prints there or you have a beautiful tea towel or you have a beautiful bag that has like the local I'm more apt to buy that from you because it's beautiful it's different it's unique it's interesting and I love your shop so you've just turned you've just gotten money out of my wallet and recently and in all of historic of my travel I don't buy big things when I travel because I want them to be packable and this is true for most or for a lot of people who are touring or visitors So there's so many small things that you can buy. And I was looking around my house as I was getting this podcast ready and I was laughing because I bought a beautiful makeup bag in a small little town in France. And it's like literally like it's just a makeup bag, but it has all the the, had all the storefronts on it literally from that town or the labels from wines and stuff. And actually it's perfumes, labels from perfumes on there. And I use it every day. And I think of the the shop that I bought it in every day. Isn't it interesting? When you think of that, my my husband bought a beautiful wine cork from uh, a a town in Italy when we were traveling and when I was teaching in Italy there, we bought, um, I was laughing. I I have a beautiful bag, a a bag from, um, like a canvas bag I'm trying to explain what that is a canvas bag easy to pack notebooks postcards puzzles stickers magnets you know all of these things holiday ornaments oh my gosh I have a holiday ornament from every charming gorgeous beautiful little town that I've been in because it exuded beautiful warm memories for me so I buy lots of holiday ornaments when I travel especially if they're unique I have a beautiful one that I bought that's a hand carved a hand carved fern from New Zealand I have a puffin from New Newfoundland like I have these and they're all from little independent shops so the opportunity for you to bring in something is great there's lots of makers and Uh, you know, all the better if that there's not something already out there. If you can't easily buy it, that's an awesome thing. It's an opportunity for you. So you can think of what you could create. 
you could either create it yourself, have it print it yourself and, and design and create it yourself and sell it in your shop. Or you could find a maker local, you know, have somebody make stickers for you, like cute little stickers or have somebody design that. These are not big things, but they're wonderful add ons for your shop, especially if they're yours and they're, you know, in your shop. And as I mentioned, you know, I'm browsing in your shop. I think it's beautiful, but you know, hey, I'm not, you know, into buying a whole, you know, dish set or whatever, but oh, look at these beautiful tea towels from this charming town and this beautiful shop that I'm in. There's a big opportunity there. And I really do see that everybody carrying some kind of souvenir, a unique piece is, there's just so much value in that. I don't know. I'm just, I think it's a really great opportunity. I think I've seen lots of my retailers sort of take it, not take advantage. That sounds cold, but you know, use that opportunity to create. We have, I've seen bookstores, clothing stores, candy shops. I mean, even if you're, if you're a candy shop, have like a branded town, you know, a town name or area name or lake name or whatever it is, like whatever it is people might be seeking in your community. Anyhow, I'm hoping that you found this helpful. I'm hoping you're thinking now or rethinking what it is you could sell in your shop that is local, like branded local. It's a great opportunity to work with um, fellow artisans as well, too. And, and, or, you know, maybe share that out to another community. If you build something, if you create something, maybe you could wholesale it to another couple of shops who are different than you a little bit so there's lots of opportunities there I just want to make sure I mentioned holiday ornaments and bags oh signs I've seen we've seen lots of signs I mean a lot of you know that so it doesn't necessarily again have to be something that you order from a wholesaler and you're like I can't easily find that it could be just a matter of doing a few clicks around in your local community and thinking who who could create this for me <laughs> who could make this for me and have it designed yourself. So that's my two cents on souvenirs. I hope that you and locally branded items, this is an opportunity for you to get a purchase from me when I walk into your shop, when I'm on my retailer's road trip, which as actually as this episode airs, I will be on the road visiting retailers all across the Eastern Seaboard. So I'm kind of excited about it. I'm doing a road trip. I'm calling it a retailer's road trip. So I'm going to be checking it out. I'm going to be looking for souvenirs on my trip so I'll see what I find in your shops because I'm hoping to jump into some of your shops I'm definitely hoping to stop into some of your shops so hey look at for my posts on social media you can follow along on Instagram I'm hoping to be dropping into several shops while I'm headed to North Carolina um, for my mastermind retreat to host my mastermind members in uh, North Carolina. We're going to one of our members shops. We're going to Jeff Lee's Vintage Nest in Mount Holly, North Carolina, where there better be something for me to buy as a souvenir. Anyhow, thanks for listening, my friends. I'm glad to have you here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Remember what I said at the top of the show. If you need to lean in to support, if you need any support at all. If you're already an Inner Circle member and you haven't been leaning into the content that we have available, think about what you need and come in and ask and join the conversation. We love to continue the conversations we have here on the podcast inside that group. That's the Retailers Inner Circle. So if you're a member there, jump in and and join in some of this conversation and ask questions and we give you resources and we can give you ideas and maybe people will show you what they've got. And if you're not a member and you're not into group coaching and it's not it's I I will say it's a very friendly group we're very friendly and it's very like (laughs) I don't know what the word is it's not busy I don't know (laughs) I'm trying to think of a nice word but it's a it's a real easy group to be around a really helpful easy supportive group that's the word that's the word I'm trying to find and we also again have other programs as well to have on demand I have on demand courses we have private classes that I can help you with just lean in. And if I can't help you or this isn't the help you need, let me know. And I'm very, I have a big Rolodex, as I mentioned here often on the podcast. I have lots of other coaches that are my friends and my peers, and I can send you to the right one or I can help you find the right person. So we just want everybody to, again, lean into moving towards a better and healthier and happier business, like more profitable, more joy. This is our joy, freedom, and profitability is what we just live in our bones. That's what that's what I feel. I breathe every day and I want for you. So thanks for listening, my friends. We'll see you here next week. Same time, same place. Have a fantastic rest of the week.
Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm so glad that you're here to join us this week, and I hope you found value in what we're sharing here. I want to remind you that our website has all of the show notes. You can find it at wendybatten.com slash podcast. Everything that you need to hear about today's podcast is there. Also an opportunity if you need to reach out to me. If I can support you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. So thanks for joining us. Please leave a review, subscribe if you can, and never miss an episode. We hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week.